Hi, you guys on YouTube. This your girl, Christine. I'm back with my stylist, Tisha. Part 2, random hair questions. So my first question for you is, what's the best way to wash your hair? The best way to wash your hair is your hair falling back in one direction towards the back. And you take the balls of your fingertips and you massage your hair and stimulate your scalp to help lift up all the dirt and oils. Okay. And not also, a lot of people have um, this thing where they wash their hair at the sink or even in the shower and they take their hair and push it to the top of their hair and it's going every which way and they're just scrubbing and all you're doing is detangling your hair. That's another one. Okay, okay. So, my second question is, do you think Caucasians hair grow faster than African Americans? Um, I basically can't say it grows faster than African American hair, but what I do know, Caucasians hair tend to produce more sebum than African Americans. That's why you see Caucasians, they frequently washing their hair because of all the oils. Um, but I think anybody can grow hair. It I can't say it how fast the rate because everybody hair is different. It depends on how that person is taking care of their hair. So I can't say I can't say a true or false with that because okay. it depends on the person. So my next question is, what is sebum? Sebum basically it's just a natural oil that we produce ourselves from the sebaceous glands that we have. Okay. So my next question is to you, as a stylist, is it safe to say you can perm your hair once a month, twice a month? What's the, what's the period that it's safe to perm your hair? Um, not correction, not a perm, a relaxer. Okay, okay? relaxer. Relaxer. Um, it's safe to perm your hair um, six to eight weeks. It's good. Me, myself, um, she know I already told her I'm scratching for this thing to get my hair relaxed every 12 weeks. Um, and another thing also that I want to um, mention with relaxes, people out there, um, they're at home and you're relaxing um, your hair yourself. Yeah, I know they sell the box relaxes inside the store and people are buying them, but my suggestion to you is Go inside the um salon. I know everybody's not able and they don't have funds because of the economy today. But if you want to keep healthy hair and keep your hair growing, if that's what you're trying to do, go that little extra mile and go to a salon and get your hair relaxed professionally. Do not, excuse me, do not, um, try to relax your hair at home because 99.9% .9 I can guarantee you that's where breakage starts when it comes to relaxers and dives people I promise you you will not go wrong if you get it done professionally go to the sun and get it done professionally if you're looking for healthy hair you have to listen some of the other things that you could also do to contribute to healthy hair is vitamins, eating right. Um, you got any other things that you want may want to share? Um, I feel like water, which you know, like they say, you're supposed to follow your own advice, which um I'm a little rusty in with that. I don't drink as much water as I should, and I know better, but it's a new year. I'm going to start. That's my new year's resolution. I'm going to drink more water, okay? Okay. No I drink problem. water, but just not enough. Okay. Yeah. So, last but not least, the final question is, um, how does hair define you? Um, me personally, I don't let my hair define me, and I think um no one should let hair define them because you are you are especially if you're a black African American first and foremost you're already beautiful. Um, I don't let hair define me because hair is hair. That's what it is. Whether you have straight hair, curly hair short hair, bald, you have a script in the back, the script on the side. Hair is all about you and the confidence you have inside yourself. 
and just how you carry yourself, how you swag out hair. Hair is just hair. You can cut it off today and grow it back tomorrow. Don't let hair define you. I know you have a lot of people out there that um thinks, oh, if I have longer hair, I'm more beautiful, which is not the case. Um, you're beautiful yourself. Your attitude within it um shows you're beautiful and how you carry yourself don't let hair define you a lot of people fall victim to letting hair define them as far as where i can use christina you know as example when you first did your chop yes. scared to go outside and thinking oh what people gonna think and this and that but it's all about you, your attitude, and how you carry yourself. Because me, myself, I can shave my hair off today and walk outside, and you can't tell me I'm not um, beautiful than I was when I had a hair full of hair. I'm still me, and I'm beautiful. That. I want to send a shout out to her brother that I've been trying to get with him for the longest, y'all. <laughs> he ain't seeing me, but it's all right. Love, peace, subscribe to my page. Sorry, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Sorry I had to cut the video short. Hopefully I can come and continue to do more lovely interviews with y'all. Um, so that you can see my stylist. So one love. Peace. Peace. Don't let hell define you.